what's going on. I wanted this weekend to play around and test building an end-to-end -end app with only lovable and only prompting lovable and go ever all the way from website to paying customer. So I spent a little bit of time. So let's see. I started at um one forty five and I was done by ten fifty five. <laughs> so I spent pretty much nine hours doing this all right so let's let's go see what we built first uh so i'm gonna sign out really quickly um but let's just go to the home page we built a website which is kind of nice this is called loan kit i was hanging out with a friend of mine who does loan officer stuff on the side and he had this app for idea that he kept pitching me i was like dude just freaking build it let's just build it together i'll show you and he was like shocked um, so this is an actual screenshot of the app, it's just a simple landing page. We got payment set up, so I'll show you later. So, um, you can sign in. I'm just going to sign in really quickly, um, and put in the password and let's see. All right. Now you can go here. You can add a new customer. So let's say Marcel test. And, and this is like, if you're a loan officer and you get a new prospect or something and you run a, run them through an assessment to see what loan products they qualify for. So you can create a new assessment and just kind of go through like a bunch of things. Like, um, I'm just clicking through a bunch of it. Um, and there you go. And then there's like a bunch of options here. I need to clean up the UI on the side, but, um, so then from here, there is the assessment you just created and you got like just a table of like all their op potential options. And, and then if any of them requires additional info, you can also click through and see the detail page, um, of it as well. And, um, and then if you go back here into customers, there's a couple of cool things that I was able to build with the edge functions. That's pretty cool. So if I go here after I created the assessment and I go enrich profile, it's going to capture everything from the, the assessment, like the answers to the quiz, if you will. And it's going to show you like the Delta of the details and enrich it, the profile automatically. So now all the information, which was the answers from your assessment, uh, were done here, right? So then if I go into the assessment, and I go here, um, there is, um, you can go into, let me go back here. Um, actually for customers, you have questions answered and a bunch of other things. Okay. So let me show you one more, which is the documents. Okay. So the documents, you can actually create a drop link that fully works with a password and an ID and everything else. I'm doing it in the preview version, but the actual version is called getloankit.com. And I actually bought the domain directly here. I didn't leave lovable for almost anything other than using Claude for planning and some perplexity for, for research on the data. Cool. So now this is like my most, one of my most proud things here in this project is uploading files. And so I can actually go in here and upload um, a, let's say a mortgage statement and it's a PDF. And so I use GPT 4.0, the P they have like a, a vision API that, or a PDF API that accepts PDFs directly. So it uploaded the whole thing and now it's running a process that's going to enrich this document and do document processing, which is pretty, pretty wild that it's doing that. This takes a few seconds, like usually like 10 seconds and it will work. Um, and, and then after this is done running, it should extract a bunch of information from it. It should classify it. It's not perfect yet, but I think it's pretty, pretty good while we're doing Oh, there you go. Okay. So now it classified the whole thing and extracted a bunch of information. Document type didn't work here, but usually it works. And so I got to fix that. I built a document viewer here as well, which is kind of cool. 
and um, and then it extracted a bunch of information here from it and next steps and things like that with a uh, and you can always reclassify and delete and things like that and so um, so that's pretty much it. I built some tools as well. So this is like a little calculator that you can kind of um, play around with it. Uh, and, and then it kind of changes some of the calculations and things. Um, so you can see how you could do a lot more of this calculation. So let's say like you're getting a lot of value, we can date some of these things, you can click upgrade now. And if you do, I synced it up to my uh, a Stripe account I had and just to kind of test it out and that's pretty much it. So then on the back end, you can see um, you got like all these edge functions all prompted that it created, like checkout, it created a checkout. Um, so so all it, I said, I want to integrate Stripe. It asked me for my API key. I go went created a secret API key, put it in there and it did everything else for me. Like we created the product and everything in Stripe. Um, it, I created another one that allows you to delete data. So you can say clean up storage. So then storage is where all the files for the customers are stored if they upload it. So you can see it all here. Um, so there you go. All right. And then users, this is like the user management side and I have it turned on Google, but you can to make it easier to sign in and even phone authentication. Uh, then there's like your database was like really cool where for instance like there's different document types and so i did a bunch of research in perplexity and claude and a bunch and manis and then like asked it to create like a csv and then i fed it the csv that has all of this um, which is really really cool um there's like the different assessments like anyways everything is here in the database and you can kind of ask for it to um, summarize or create a readme and then you can use that readme then I sync this project up to my github so just so that it's backed up and everything is here and and it's pretty cool like there's a ton of stuff here that like it did and let's see I think that's mostly it you got activities or analytics so it's kind of cool as well for a while I had this public for people to be able to like uh, clone it or whatever. So got some visitors from out of the country, but other than that, it's mostly me and it's pretty cool. Um, it works and, and that's it. So it took nine hours to, to do this, but it's mostly like I was planning the app. This was literally like an idea, right? <laughs> so then if you jump into Claude, you can see kind of like my chat a little bit. And, and so it literally started with just like, I'm thinking through this app. And um, and then I went through a bunch of other things, you know. So, um, anyways, um, I'll probably record like a how to later on explaining how I did this. But I hope this is this is helpful. Anyone can go end to end now, so we can literally start like getting customers in now.